Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we have a tool unboxing and review for you. Today we're doing the Harbor Freight Portland Electric pole saw. 1.5 peak horsepower pole saw. It's 120 volts AC, 7 amps. The bar is 9.5 inches. The handle extends from 6 feet to 8 feet 10 inches and the model number is 63190 like I said you can get this at Harbor Freight and supposed to be a good saw gets a lot of good reviews and I'm gonna see if they're correct or not so we're gonna do an unboxing right now I went ahead and cut the tape off undid some of the staples and I am looking at it for the first time same as you are so nice shiny plastic wrapping up everything let's get this out of here and get a better view of it move the box over and well we got a zip tie on this end let me cut this off so hopefully fortunately nobody has been into this box before me so it should be a nice pristine clean unit Sometimes people at Harbor Freight will not be conscientious of other buyers and they will open up boxes and mess with them. But this one seems to have not been messed with. If you're a shopper at Harbor Freight or any store, be conscientious of your fellow buyers and don't mess things up in boxes. Don't take things out. Don't, uh, you know, do things that you wouldn't like to have done to you. Alright, so that's the plastic, and we have another zip tie here. Let's undo this one. And we have the instructions, which I know a lot of people won't read, but I'll go through it later. You never know if it may have something useful inside. Aside from all the precautions and so forth, there might be something of some use. So we have uh, this Allen wrench, which more than likely it is for tightening up the bar. And then we have the chain in its own little packet. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention it's an Oregon uh, chainsaw, uh, bar, Oregon, 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 however you want to say it. So that's what this is. Let me undo this part. Here we have the bar and it's nicely protected so you don't hurt yourself. Open this up and there we go. So here's the Oregon bar so you can see that and a 91 double guard low kickback it says so hopefully that's true. I mean when you have this pole extended out to nine feet approximately you certainly don't want a lot of kickback so that's the bar that's the chain this is probably to hold the cord or something and then you have a protective shield for when you're putting it away and your blade doesn't get damaged so then the locking mechanism for the pole is very simple simple little figures on there lock unlock and it extends out yeah little dusty dirty inside here gonna clean that up later that's how it looks this is where you put the uh, bar oil if you don't have bar oil if you run out I imagine any kind of oil automotive oil will do yes I know bar oil is the best choice to use I'm saying if you're desperate you run out don't have any oil need to finish your job a little 10W30 or straight 30 will do just fine, just to finish your job until you can go to the store and buy some more. It has nice little metal teeth on it for grabbing onto the logs when you're cutting them. Logs, um, tree, tree, uh, tree branches, whatever you're cutting. And they are made out of metal. They're not plastic. 
I know it may be a little hard to see in the lighting, but they are metal uh, bars on here. Barbs, whatever you want to call them. And uh, they seem pretty aggressive. Little indicator right here for your bar oil. And, and it's even, let's say, idiot proof so that you don't lose it. It'll, it stays on there so you won't lose it unless uh, you cut that off. You don't uh, have to worry about losing it when you're doing a job. And what we're going to do now, oh, let me show you the other side. This is the other side of the unit where you have the trigger and you have a safety switch here so it won't kick on until you push that in. Then it'll go in. You have a uh, what do you call it, a catch here, a latch, uh, some kind of a, I don't know what you would call that, but what the best word is for that. Tell me down in the comments uh, what is the appropriate word for this. I haven't looked at the instructions, but I'm sure it says in there what this is, and it's very simple. It's just to catch the cord so it's not in your way. You can either put this one through it or put your extension cord through there and then plug it into here. There's your 120 connector, and your extension can go in through here. There's an opening in the back here where you can latch on your extension and bring it back out. So that's fairly convenient because if you've ever tried to do any tree trimming, any kind of tree work, and you have the extension cord and this fumbling around, it can become a bit of a nuisance. So it's nice to be able to, uh, you know, either put this cord through it or your extension cord and lag it, latch it onto here so that, oh, latch it onto there so that it's not in your way it's nice and secure out of the way like I said if you prefer to put the extension cord on here that's your choice I'll experiment with this and see what works best later when I'm actually using it I'll put that out to there I don't want to mess it up there we go so it's a very simple trigger mechanism in the middle it has a nice foam handle for you to grab onto nice and thick it's actually a good decent uh, size uh, the bar is, uh, the head unit is fairly heavy. I wouldn't call it uh, a light unit. I wouldn't call it extremely heavy either. But it does have some weight to it, so it doesn't feel too bad. It doesn't feel cheap, let's put it that way. It doesn't feel chintzy. Some people like to say uh, Harbor Freight is not very good and their products are made out of uh, crappy materials, but it doesn't have bad fit and finish. Uh, the creases and everything, you know, it seems like it came out of a decent mold. The connections between the parts here are pretty good. Nice smooth finish. No sharp edges. Except for here, obviously, but your hand shouldn't be touching right here. This is for the tree. So, the fit and finish is uh, pretty good. I think it's a nice, decent looking unit. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put the bar in here. It's going to take me a little bit of time to open this up put the bar in here, put the chain on it, and then I'll bring you guys back because, let me see here. Hold on. I haven't read through the instructions, so I'm just uh, guessing here. Let me go through this. See how easily this opens up. If I can just do it blind right now. I would recommend, if you're going to do this, read through the instructions. Don't just go by what I'm doing. Because I am just bumbling around trying to show you guys how it all goes. Okay, I imagine that goes here. Nothing there. That's interesting. And then the chain goes in through here and around the bar. And that goes on here. No, well, it might be for the oil to come through. I don't know. I believe I read in the online store I believe it's a self oiling unit there's no button or anything to push not here not on the other end for oiling the unit so I believe it's supposed to be self oiling so I don't think uh, we need to worry about that oh yeah actually it's right there that's where the oiling port is so it comes out through there and uh, right there it shoots out into the bar itself right there so Hopefully that works well. I would say, just as a point of precaution, 
if you get one of these and you're using it, make sure it is oiling. Automatic doesn't always mean good or working. I'm not saying anything about this product, haven't tried it yet. I'm saying in general, a rule of life, just because something says it's automatic doesn't mean it will work properly. So always check your tools, make sure it is oiling when it's supposed to be. If not, step back, check it out, find out what's wrong, and then continue with what you're doing. So let's see here. Let's open up the bar. And yeah, let's see, I guess I'm gonna have to uh, cut into it. Hold on. This baby is pretty sharp, so I would say be careful when you are opening this. It is nice and sharp. Do not go crazy on this or you will hurt yourself. Careful. Let me see. On here, I believe it says which way. This is supposed to go. No, I think it goes that way. It's supposed to go that way. And there we go in there. We go in there. Go there. Actually, I'm gonna have to pull that back. side over here the adjuster is right over here on the side still not far back enough Looks like uh, yeah, oh, oh, almost there, almost there. Got to go a little bit further back. Wrong way. All right, let's try it now. There we go. That goes in there. Now we have to tighten up the bar, but I think the best thing to do is put this back on before we tighten it. This seems to make sense to me. And I haven't even read the instructions yet. Again, I recommend read the instructions. I'm doing this just to show you guys uh, blindly what to do. But when you get it, read the instructions. I will obviously go through and read the instructions myself once I finish doing all this. Okay, we don't want to go crazy and bananas and over tighten it. Let's turn you over. Actually, I think the bar is pretty good there. Actually, yeah, you want a little bit of movement, not a lot. And I think it's pretty much where it needs to be. I mean, some people might think it should come out a little more. I think that's probably about good. At least that's what I'm going to try to do right now. I'm not going to go too crazy and tighten it too much until I try cutting the first piece of wood. As you can see there, a little bit of give to it. Not a lot, just a little. I don't want it to be too loose to come off of there. If it needs to be tightened up more, I'll do so later. If it needs to be loosened, I will do so later. For right now, it's a start. All right, so I didn't have to bring you guys back. I did it all right here on camera while you guys were watching. Seems like a very simple device. Very simple, easy peasy. So from now on then, what you need is this to protect it. Let's go that way or that way, I don't know. Again, instructions. Good to read the instructions. Let's see. Does it snap in place? I don't know, I can't feel anything. 
But either way, that seems to be pretty darn good. Oh, there we go. I got it over that little latch there. Push, push in a little bit right here to get it to go over and then it snaps in place. There you go. So that takes care of that. So we're all set and ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some oil. I'm going to pour it in here. And then I'm going to figure out how to test this. Because right now it's raining outside. It's pretty miserable weather. Cold, windy, and rainy. Not the best time to be doing a review outside of a pole saw. But this is when I got it. So this is what I'm doing for you guys. Fresh opening and review of the tool. So let me set something up and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, we're back. So what I've done, since it's still rainy and windy and cold outside, I couldn't get any branches to cut outside. So what I did was I got together an old piece of 4x4 that I had lying around, and I put it here in the vise so it's nice and secure. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the chainsaw, the Portland uh, pole saw that we're talking about, and we're going to cut right through this 4x4. Now, this would make a pretty hefty branch. So if it cuts through this with ease, it means it'll cut through pretty much any branch you're going to encounter out there in the wild. So let's give this a try. I already filled it up with oil. Let's give it a try, see how it performs. shallow and it made a mess out of everything so let's go in a little deeper see and it's old wood it's been hanging around for a long time so it's dry and hard as a rock I was probably gonna throw this away because it's so hard and uh, it went through it very very easily so I would say the saw performs quite nicely if you need to cut a piece of wood outside and you have a good thick branch I don't see a problem with that at all I mean look at that it cut through it very well of course didn't cut like a, uh, it didn't make a clean cut, but that's not what a chainsaw does. It always makes a cut, a, you know, messed up cut, but what do you care? It's just a branch. And actually, on a branch, the wood would be a little wetter, so it wouldn't make such a mess out of it. It would be a little cleaner cut, but it doesn't matter. I'm, I digress. The whole point is that it cut through it like butter, as they say. And uh, it made a really good clean cut. I didn't push on it. I didn't force it. I didn't do anything. I let the saw do its, its job by itself. I let the saw do the work. I'll make one more cut so you can see it again. I am not pushing down on it. I am not doing anything. I just let the saw come into it and just make its way down all on its own. No effort on my part. Show you again. cuts through wood very easily and uh, it gives you the reach for places that are far up above your head and you either can't reach or don't want to get up on a ladder to reach so standing on the ground you can reach up to almost nine feet high cut off those branches and if you choose to you can always get on a ladder and give yourself a higher reach so there you have it I think the Harbor Freight pole saw is a pretty good buy at Normally it's around $80, I think it is $79.99, something like that. But with the coupon, you can get it down into the upper 50s, lower 60s. I think the lowest I've ever seen it's like $57, $58. That's the lowest I believe I have seen it. 
If you've seen it any lower, go ahead and tell me down in the comments below. But still, at that price, I would say it's a darn good uh, purchase. And uh, it does everything it needs to do. And like I said, automatic oiling, so you don't need to even worry about that. So, I give it a thumbs up. I say if you need it, for the price, buy this one. Don't buy one of the other ones. Of course, it's up to you. If you've got to have a name brand right here, then you're going to pay more. I don't care what it says there. I just care the job it does. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, do whatever you're going to do. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.